يسأل من لا إله إلا الله وصنع الناس لك الأصل الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله بلا كريم وصلى الله على عمي أجمعين ومسيح ومحدي ومجدد لأننا مصالين Now we will turn to the God. Just tell when that is the hair in the law. What? Now, yes, a little awesome. الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله بلا كريم وصلى الله على عمي اجمعين ومسيح ومحدي ومجدد لاننا مصلين Now we will turn to the God. You all there? Indeed. Nigga, you ain't seen good times in young hours with this nigga. And everywhere I go, they go to red carpet. I'm up upstairs to feed me. I got niggas that love me all over the U.S. of what? Hey. Hey. In a real way, too. Most places I go, I get into what? When I say it's always good, free. Yeah, that's right. Get confident in the drinks, too. Because I don't really drink that much. I take one, two sips and let it sit on the table. That same drink be there when I leave. Because I drink a half a beer, I'm drunk. Or at least I've been pretending like I am anyway. To make people laugh. You're starting to understand? Starting to get to know me? That's what the purpose of this yes. segment of our conversation is all what? About. about. Now, who's I use that spoke? Hey, Brandon Boyd. Hey. Brandon Boyd. Hey. Tank. Yes, yes. Tank. Yes. Tank. Yes. Tank. Yes. Tank. Yes. That, that's a glitch. Because I'm coming back full what? Circle. Not long now. Come on, hey, that's what it's out. Thank you, Mr. Wood. I'm the one who came back. Yeah, um, and remember this stuff. Cars, family stuff. Did you have a good time at all? Yeah, I had a good time. It was a good time. No, you didn't. You ain't had a good time. Brandon, mm -hmm. I don't hang out with you. We ate in the hookah plate. We had a good time. I look over at you. You have so much on your mind. Some of the things that you wouldn't talk about sometimes. But I want you to know something, Brandon. You can talk to me about what? Anything. None of that. Who? You gonna say? Yep. And maybe I'm gonna put a smile on your face so bright. Mm -hmm. This time. You think you laugh for four? You ain't seen what? Mm -hmm. Nothing. That was cool, man. You rock and roll. I love you. Yeah. Love you too. I love you. Now, we won't even go through what was the worst situation. We'll do that on another time because I'm going to get to get this out. And Brandon, I want to chop this in half. And listen to me. That part, you know the part. Put that in part one. It's a good commercial. Hear me? Uh -huh. You'll know. 
You know this part here? That's our business. That don't belong to the whole what? Yeah. Now, I want you to see the counting on the recorder right now. How many minutes is it? Five hours. Five hours? I want mm -hmm. you to start part two from five hours forward. You take all of that shit, and just for the first part, that's our business, you shut it. Is that part now ever talking to y'all about what we're looking We ain't meant to be you. We you make sure that get out. I'm over there. No, which part again to put out? Nigga, do y'all niggas remember me talking to y'all about what the thing that you limp the day? So put the beginning part of it out. Yeah, nigga, but I'm saying especially the part where I talk about that. When you hear me start mentioning the word limp a day, we'll be added to you. I was talking about picking up the phone. And that's where it went. You hear me? Uh, I want to make sure the whole world hear that what? Here. And when I talk about tribal way. You hear me? Yep. Now. Now we start part two. You hear me? Now this is how you're going to know. Ready? I said, in the Lord. Walk thou last and make alone. Alhamdulillah, what the lie to me? Alhamdulillah, what the lie to me? For some of the Alhamdia, Ebrahim, what the fear, what must be, what we get him, Nienna Musali. Baba Guaya. Baba Guaya. Those of you who look in order and don't know what that means, that's Shadowdotten. It means the Messiah is here. Now, what I'm talking about here today is I want every new being out there to listen to me and hear this. Did you know that there's a computer software called Morpheus? And let me tell you what this shit does. Just like there's a computer software called Pan. Which the general population of Americans do not have access to. Now do y'all remember a long time ago when cell phones first came out? You'd have to use it, you'd have to give your first born to get one. Credit check. I'm not to mention the amount of money that he cost for that trick that you can hit somebody in the head with and bust their heads open with. Remember that long ago? Yep. Now, but then out of nowhere, came the cost for everything. Forty dollars, no credit check, no deposit, and you can call wherever you want to, unlimited need, right? And before the cell phone came out, the number one killer in terms of a bill that Nubian people had to, had to pay for was long distance, long distance telephone calls. I don't know about yours, but my bill comes back like a little book. Fifteen hundred this month. That one went. Also, got that one bill, long distance telephone call. There's in the five hundred ever, and this was so because they knew it. Man, no, you be like the what? Talk. Auntie Luna and Auntie Jane be on the phone all night with Auntie Luna in LA and Auntie Jane in New York, and they talk about what the baby looks like and what his eyes look like and this, that, and third. You know what I'm talking about, and that bill be. Humongous. Nobody ever took the time to say, well, why would these fools, AT&T, give away, just give away all that money? 
to the point that they made it affordable, but they didn't know this. Who do you ever have a cell phone? Forty dollars, no budget that knows about it, unlimited card, nigga, whatever the fuck you want there was. Nobody ever took some time to say, why would they just give away all that money? And at the same time, if you go back and rewind, I can have to do some bottled water in my face. Now, I don't know about nobody else, but I don't know what I was doing. We could go to the city and get a job. Or fill up the Kool Aid thing and put it in the refrigerator. Put no bottled water on my line. Do y'all remember back that time? And each one of y'all right in there is still drinking bottled water. Tell the truth, Jamie Bell. Damn bottle to go three dollars for water. But you know, we gotta get the nice bottle to feed you and the this and that. The bottle will look real well. Cool and nice, huh? Wow, this image is everything and damage you. Ain't nobody gonna see you drinking your little poop on the only cause my mind. Then fuck that. We need some work to put what I live. I mean, what the hell wrong with you? And look at this water you bought me. It's not going to use no damn feet. This water only got me dollar, nigga. But it's going to give me some feet, feet. It's what we do as a people. Now, and you know, like I know, being a new man, if they got a grocery store called State Place, and they not got another grocery store called Food for Less, which one you going to go to? And the real, and let you, it's like, and let you boozy, you know, you know, like, 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 like the big old thing. Look at that dope for the Uzi. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's one of them rap birds. Motherfuckers can't take a nothing to have in mouth. Now, this is a bad and bougie, right? What the fuck? See, you guys did another thing? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You look like a damn fool. Right? Yeah. Yeah, who the fuck is this thing, nigga? Yeah, like, ah, yeah, yeah, you can't you can't take the money out the butt. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you would think you on there with the big old motherfucker, you would have knew, you know, loose and down, you would have came out with something better than ah, yeah, yeah, fuck right off the rip. If that don't save you, you would have came with nothing, you know, but you didn't kick in real good till about four, five, 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 five. Why you use the money in the real way? I just turned the video off. I said, fuck this. This nigga playing. I don't watch this shit. But, like I said, if you got a broken this game called Fat Man, you got food for left, and you a new man, if you got good things, what broke this door you gonna go to? Food for left. Bingo! So one thing they do is that newbies like food for what? Less. Bingo. Nigga, long time ago, the cell phone first came out, they had a cell on bottom board that, that lasted for about two years in front of food for less. Bottom water stacked up taller than you are for two years. Well, it got to the point where when you went to food for less, what thing you got? Two, three, two, three, two, three, back for that. And then put that in the car. First thing you tell your wife. Right, you can see it's on sale, yeah. And you ever wonder why they have phones with names like The Razor, Blackberry, 
Well, a razor is something that cuts into something, right? Yep. And they say the black and the white is sweeter than what? Juice. <laughs> because they after your wife. You understand? Yes. And I don't care what nobody say. I don't like what they did to my daughter. I see him in that great movie. I'm like, look at this motherfucking barbarian. If I was there right now, I'd kill his ass. But then, I get back, get them get back, and the brothers be doing it today, daughter. And they get a nigga, where her ass was. And that's just keep it real. Don't make like these niggas ain't never seen one in your life. Because if you say you did, you're lying like a what? I'm a truth and shame the devil. Everybody on this phone and their mama, I don't give a fuck who they are all around the globe, they see the movies. At one time or what? Mother. Not realizing what they done done to you. What number they done done to you? They planted yes, seeds down in the mind. They planted seeds down in your mind. Where them images is going to stay with you for what? Ever. Forever. And there ain't nothing now one of you can do to get them images what? Out. And if you get ready to do the Humpty Humpty, you know goddamn well your ass is going to revert back in some type of way. And let's see one of them bourgeois thinking you damn near white and you, your sister, you thinking you poly, you know, Miss Polly Fieldfred, when you ain't. But nigga, I, feel fly, I don't be a fly on the wall, but I do be part of the wall itself sometimes. And your hair raised up on the back of your neck. So damn, somebody watching me. You think don't nobody know what you do in the dark? And that's how much the damn fool niggas can what? Me? Oh, yeah. I ain't nobody different. Wanna know why? Because it's natural. Stop being ashamed of what's a natural thing. You understand me? And don't let nobody yeah. come along and try and dictate what you do in your bed and in your bedroom. Be it. Because that ain't none of they what? Business. Business! And if you let them influence you, fuck with your heart and your ass to the point that you laying a guilt trip on your motherfucking self, stop that. You hear me? Because they never be what? Ashamed of. You know why I say that? But that's not a freak of nature, that's nature moving at its finest. And if people, especially my people, don't grow the fuck up and realize this, you all are in trouble. Do you hear me? Yes. Like, you know, you ever been in a situation, what, what, what? You ever been in a situation where you know, check this out? You know, because you got the spiritual thing going on, you got the... You know, you know, you're lying and you're stopping up and you're doing your meditation and you, you know, became a vegan and this, that, and third, you know, the type, the health food is type and the drug out and the, you know, pills and that and you're driven IV so motherfuckers, you know, the type. that look down their noses at a motherfucker who just suddenly smoking a new port, thinking it's better than everybody else. You know the type. When you got that going on, you ain't got what I'm saying, you, you know, it is, you doing good, and all of a sudden, you know, something comes along, you smoke a joint. And then you whip your ass to death. Some of you will cry, feeling like the folks I don't love you no more. And you done fucked up in the way by which the tunnel light ain't gonna be yours, you're going to hell. 
Now, don't tell me each one of y'all ain't been there at one time or what? Another. Tell me each one of y'all ain't been there at one time or what? Another. Tell the truth. You shook the heart, brother. Every one of them had those moments. When you're doing good, acting good. He said, hey, right, nigga, you're walking in the wrong to move back in now, right? You know what I mean? That's straight to what? They can't even talk to nigga. If you don't want to do it this way, do it that way, nigga, you're going to die and go to what? Because you incorporated that self, that, that type of uh, slipping, diving into your mentality. You all forgot about the great grandparents who believed in Jesus died on the cross for their what? Damn. You want to tell me people died? Wait a minute. You want to tell me them people died and went to hell? And nigga, who the fuck are you to make that type of judgment call? Even though y'all know I didn't die, no course, I ain't gonna lie to you and say I did. But who are you? To say if they died and went to hell because they supported that doctor. By which with your right knowledge here today, you know is not true. You're gonna tell me your great grandmama, as good as it was for you, is burning in hell right now? Hell no. You ought to know. So, what about all the motherfucking Shabians out there? You know, the good old, supposed to be stuck in line right now, and, uh, you know, sound right reasoning, motherfucker. Well, how sound and right is your reasoning, motherfucker? If you don't sit down and think you better than anybody else. And like your shit don't work. Because mm. you got the little suit on, right? And you got a name, uh, Commit, Caboose, the body, the duty, the duty, the blah, 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 blah. That even motherfucking your own brothers and sisters can't even fucking pronounce. And if they see it on paper, we're struggling to be able to sound out. Because you got consonants with no vowels in between them. You read what the P T A H. And say that name is Tom. Right? Right. And you can't tell me that when you first seen that name, that had two continents packed you know, back to back with no vowel in between it, that you didn't struggle to fucking pronounce. You had to go ask somebody, what the fuck, what's the name? How you, how you pronounce it? Right? Right. Mm-hmm. So somebody rocked you into a subliminal bond. Right? And mm-hmm. I don't care if you apply the word mystery to it, that still is my story. And ain't now one of them motherfuckers been there and didn't remember back that far, can Nope. But do you realize my memory goes back all the way to triple dollars and things? I can remember that since like yesterday. And that at 16 years old, I was pharaoh of the largest city in Upper Egypt, called Heliopolis. At 16 years old. That I feel that memory of right this day. You no, know, my name is not King. My name is Cutty the first. And it took my degree off with this key. I earned what? That. Our last name is right, but when you get a key, that's what you earn what? That. I earned that by being who the apprentice. So which right is day? I'm going to show you all what Tehuti has got to say that will save every new being right here in America. I'm going to let you hear Tehuti speak for him what? So, so, all these good civilians out there who think all that, you know, car blood and the direct power line to the most on self, you know, and walk around with a little suit on thinking you all that and bad with paper thinking and you ain't nothing but a damn fool. 
But I'm lost good sense. In a way that which you can't remember that if you ain't got compassion, you ain't got shit. And never mind how you treat me. Just look at how y'all treat each other. And look at how far down the hole you done took yourself to what you do. Look at the a picture of the devil and say it's not evil. Knowing that that ain't what Pop taught. You ain't never heard Pop teach the things that most of them should be in the teaching. And when I question, I'll bring it up again. You ain't never seen my father with no hands or far much that walk around looking like he's taking road stuff. Thanks. And if I told you where the name Sabine came from, why do niggas are still using it? Because if the possibility exists that what I'm saying is true, if there's an iota of a chance that what I'm saying is true, that that name it was given to you by the federal government, you should have been this guy. And if there's an iota of a chance that they can be posing like that pop, and let me tell you something, stop. Morphia, a computer software, let me explain what it does. First off, let me tell you how I got hip to it. I was in California, I got a phone call from my wife. If you've been married to a woman for five years, and she calls you on the phone, you ain't gonna know what her, her voice sound like? Even if she don't tell you her name, you're gonna know it's her or not, right? Yes or no? Yes. Mm. You think that's the correct answer, as right as rain to rain can be. Because let me tell you something, if you've been with a woman one year, and she called you on the phone, nigga, you're going to know her voice. If, you, if you've been in love like a person with nine, nigga, you're going to know her voice. There's not one oxygen she can hit that you ain't going to be familiar with. Am I lying? No. Nope. Joe? I got a phone call, phone back. I picked it up, and I heard my wife's voice. It was telling me, that no, this is not Leticia. I'm Leticia's cousin. My name is Tonto. I'm like, Leticia, stop playing with me. I'm telling you the truth. I am Leticia's cousin. This is not Leticia. I'm like, this is a, I'm telling you right now, keep fucking with me. And I know damn well this is what? You. And nigga, I've been married to this woman for five years. You damn know. You know what I'm saying? I knew shit. What I was saying was true. But let me tell you something. The voice continued to tell me that that wasn't the teacher and that that was another woman. So I'm glad to think of you. I'm glad to do a small handheld digital recorder. And I started recording the conversation. You follow me? Yes. When the, when the phone call was over, lo and behold, I was down to the court. And just what I heard. I heard her voice speaking from her voice to a man's voice, back to her voice, to a man's voice. There was a clip in the software. Nothing for me, because had I not heard that, I wouldn't even know about Morphia. This is the computer software and the very same name of both in the matrix. The big most of the thing is coincidence, nigga, because the food came on the line. I told her, I know where you are. You were able to write that. You access that toxic record. Because that's how come Keanu Reeves and I look so much what? A lot. For example, you can't tell me I look like that nigga who just makes his foot coming down behind me when I got that long leather on and I got them dark glasses on. You can't tell me I don't. Call the people saying you what? Have you all ever seen that picture that they get that I got out there? I like to know. Yeah. Well, yeah. let me tell you how that picture is. I tell you, do I look like Neo? Yes or no? Yeah, like the uh, 
the light skin skill. Yeah, no doubt. And with that green stuff coming down in the back of me, that program that I told you, check this out. It's mine. And the first time I've seen it, I didn't even know that was the computer program that I'm about to get. It's the entire world. Well. Let me tell you something. In Kyle, again, Terminator, you got a bodyguard that comes from the future. Except the young boy who's about to create something that will change the face in the what? Quantum. Well, that's this, y'all. In the computer industry, everybody out there is looking for one thing. Run over to this? Speed. To make the computer move what? Faster and more efficiently. Am I lying, thanks? Nope, nope. Huh? No, you're not lying. Everybody, everybody looks for more speed always. Always. And watch this. And more control over their system, correct? Correct. That's what Linux offers you, correct? Exactly. As opposed to Windows will do everything, right? And it's more computer friendly, meaning the average motherfucker, you ain't got to be fucking Einstein like with Apple. I can't right. stand Apple. Me neither. I don't like it neither. Yo, let me tell you something. Apple is the most sickest, conniving, motherfucking demon in the computer world. Mm. They purposely make their program not user friendly. And every time that you're going to get any necessities, you got to be Apple, you motherfucker. They say they're going to work on their shit. They keep all the money in house. And anybody who bought an apple, they stuck now with them because they got to keep coming back to get more apple shit to get their shit right and keep their shit up the bar. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they milk the American public. Out of every dime, this, you listen, the consumer can possibly bring. And I don't care what to say, apple safari is bullshit. I agree too. That is the most bullshit browser I've ever been on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you what God was. The most bullshit browser I've ever watched. See, and Sherry can kiss my ass, whoever the fuck she is. <laughs> Don't you feel the same way, Brandon? No. Sherry can dance uh, all day long. What will you have me do? <laughs> Nigga, leave now and get the fuck away from me. From the series. <laughs> Ain't that the, the, yeah. the, the, the Apple bo- bo- boy <laughs> on the there? Yeah. Huh? Yep. You know, you know the hooker. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I hate that bitch too. Her and Alexa. Yeah, and I hate both of them hoes. I can't you know, stand them. You know, them the the computer generated hoes. I hate them. Trying to suck them in, you know. Always. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I always jump in the conversation. Like, it's a motherfucker. I'm not getting this shit for me, Sally. How the fuck you getting this wrong? <laughs> you can just be sitting there talking to your job and whoever's next thing you know, Sally's all in your business. And you're saying this stuff. That computer game on my damn stuff. I'll be damned. I ain't turning that bitch on. <laughs> right? <laughs> Exactly, exactly. But let me, let me say something. Well, again, everybody in the computer industry is looking for speed. Now, I don't know about nobody else, but I think Windows Symbol, excuse me, Windows 7 is the best thing Microsoft ever produced. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't like Windows 8. I don't like Windows 10. I don't like Windows Black. I don't like none of that. And yo, if you go all the way back, check this out, Windows 95. In the year 1995, Bobby went to prison in the year 2000, what? Two, right? So 95 is when Microsoft first produced that first Windows what? 
shit them, correct? Oh. I think so. Uh, let me ask you, what, you ever seen one of my old laptops? Motherfuckers, yeah. the fuck, heavy as a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Dinosaur. The motherfucker didn't move off a digital. Mm. I don't even think they had invented, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, fiber optic yet. What year did fiber optic come out? Mm, um, it had to be 2000. Yeah, like late 90s. Yeah, okay. Well, like Lucent Technology, AT&T. How many of y'all know how Microsoft, with their early processing systems, how those systems work? What's the difference between 16 bit and 32 bit? As far as pixels, because early, but long time ago, they only had 16 bits and 32 bits. First off, explain to everybody what the fuck a bit is. And what is the OSS system or whatever the fuck, what, what's that other shit? It's the memory. What the fuck is it called? Yeah, yeah, the, the memory. memory. Right. Yeah. 16 bits, 16 uh, bits is how much memory it can hold. 32 bits is how much me- uh, memory it can hold. Now, okay. it can if you get a laptop in the day, right? You would have to read the, uh, what they call that, just the stack or whatever the fuck is called, what's it called? The specs. Yeah, the specs. Yep. You have to read the specs on the motherfucker because what the specs gonna let you what? The breakdown no. of the machine. Huh? It'll give you the overview of the machine and capabilities. Right, exactly what that motherfucker checked for, correct? Right. But it's talking in a language that most Americans don't fucking what? No. Well, guess what? Your job is just to come to job, tank, to educate us what? Oh, we're yeah. about to have computer brothers, computer shit one on one with the quickness that that takes you about fifteen minutes to do. Yeah. I want to know what the fuck a bit is. I want to know when you check this out. I want to know what the SOS and the this and the that and all that shit that the motherfuckers be <laughs> talking about. I don't know about. I want to know what the fuck is what. Yeah. And I think every American out there would want to what. No. No too. Just basic computer fucking information, right? Right. Like okay. Like printing. If your phone is not rooted and if it is rooted, what's the difference? And what the fuck is the rooted anyway? Like the uh, root is like not hacked or it's like the only the phone what it takes to run the phone itself. So like you get by like a metro phone, they had all their services uh, apps on it as well. So it's like a lot more of their stuff. But when it's Rudy, you get only the, the phone software and the phone itself capabilities to run the phone and the browser and stuff like that. So it's better to be rooted. It's not supported though, or it's not allowed. Okay, how can I take the device and hand they need more code and have them what? Sweet. How are they able to do that? I t- how are they able to trace you? No, like in other words, they need that. A hand set you don't fall from scrap. Right. But you want to look that so hard. They can blast the motherfucker and make it what? Oh, turn it off. Turn it off. Right. They can put their own service on somebody else's handset. How they able to do it? Right. So they got they got like rooted apps on the on the 
internet itself, and you can plug your phone in and download what they have, and they'll take off what you already have in your phone and put what they got. You can build your own. Now, now watch this. Right. And you can use Linux to do it. Let me ask you a question. If you're possible for a mobile organization, go work at that phone. You reach over the next check, watch this, and give you a number on the next check, and then you'll be on and you don't have a bad guy. Huh? It has happened to me before. What is it? Us Balkans have the, the uh, ability of persuasion. <laughs> What? Because uh, we see this acting way, we have the ability of persuasion. And, like, you know, um, you know, but yeah, so it has happened. They can. They can activate anything. You can see us. You better talk music so it's exactly like it's almost Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have a. This guy was a mega buddy. He never had no fucking. Had some sort of personality with some things, right? Cool. Yeah. And we don't know that shit like you do. Don't forget. Right. I know. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Right. I understand, but with Linux, that's why Linux could make it simple from the beginning. I feel like that's what I should have used back in the day, but because the Windows why is so popular. Why do you think I'm asking you all these questions, Brandon? I understand. No, I want to know. You do, I, no, I want to know that you can figure out why I'm asking you all these questions. That was, that's the simple side. These are things that you already know. I mean, talking about teaching workshop. You right. Not, I agree. Not just that. Not just that, nigga. Mm -hmm. I'm 45% completed with Windows what? Symbols. That shit's been sitting out for more than two what? Years. Yeah. What I'm saying is, the reason it's sitting is because I got to a place where I couldn't go any what? Else. Further. Further. And the reason I couldn't go any further is because I don't know all that shit. That other dumb, all that shit you talk, nigga, Japanese to me. And damn it, if it's out there to be known, I think the Messiah should what? No. At least I have some sort of work and I'm understanding of it all. And if the Messiah didn't know it, every member of those who I should know it what? As well, I got a question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Courtney was suggesting that we all come together and create our own social network. Like do our own community because like Facebook and uh, YouTube is flagging a lot of stuff, especially Facebook. And she was coming up with ideas. What they doing? Like if you post a certain inappropriate or like something that's like, you know, um, like, you know, stand for like, you know, our rights or Nubian rights, they'll flag it. Oh, really? Cool. Oh, so but, we can have an idea. Likely they have. Yeah, they have before in the past, yeah. Like, they flagged, I don't know if they flagged it because uh, I was using music. Yeah. And then I had a copyright or whatever, whatever. I remember that. Right. But then they come back and say, that the music company said, fuck it, it's cool, we can use it. Cool. And put Ooh. my shit right back up there. Yep. Yeah. You remember? Oh, I remember. I knew they was going to do that shit. Because when the music company found out, that I didn't have no legal right to use it. Nigga, they use music. You hear music all over the world. Nigga, and motherfuckers is playing music that don't got copyright to play it. And motherfuckers, they want their music for it. Heard. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So I wasn't really hurt, you know? Motherfuckers was happy I was using it. Jill Scott Halloran ain't been heard. This song in the bottle ain't been heard in years. So I know Gil, but fuck it, that music is there. Fuck, it ain't hurt me. Mm -hmm. Now, so yeah, I agree, I agree with you. Can we do it? Ooh, we can strategize. I feel like we can put a call out and we can organize a union. And like, get the other communities involved too. Ooh, and get other people involved. We can open it up to the public and make it open source. Where everybody can build it on their own machine and on their own time on their own computers. You know, we can show them how to do it step by step and make it open for it. See, but at the same time, we do a lot, nigga. I got to figure out this other 55% of information right. I need to be able to complete this, to complete this task. Because I got enough information that at one time I was saying, fuck it, I want everybody to sign an on the stage with them for me to open up the shit now and give a fuck. No, we keep freaking out. We can't, we need to sign that. 
Change all the fuel. And now that makes the weight of the responsibility to rest on my shoulder even greater. Now, put yourself in my seat for a minute. I've already went through that class with y'all. Remember? No. Yes, um, the thing that I remember that class. Yes, I everybody. How would they feel if they took a substance tonight and woke up tomorrow and say, oh, uh, shit, I'm deep it. I know it was real. What they would be feeling. Yes, remember that, Steve. Now, I did that because you all, if the 144,000 is to ever rise, they're going to rise from out of the what it is we're doing right now. No, no. Well, first they have to understand what the responsibility was. Yeah. And how mammoth it is. And how that's not something that any one person would have to ever do by them what? No. So, in a real large way, you all have to become my discipline. Now, what did I say a long time ago? I don't want no disciples. No more. Not midday and time. Because my disciples are still down the disciples what I said 2,000 years what? Ago. Ago. Uh, lady, I'll read to you all the communications between her and I. But this was a very interesting conversation. To which, and that, that uh, uh, phone charger. To which, I think each of you all can learn from. And by all means, do not let me get off this phone without playing to Hootie's voice. Which is something that no one, I repeat, no one in our nation can lay claim to doing. Today will be the first day you all will hear to Houthi what? Speak. Okay? okay? Yeah. And wait till y'all hear what he got to say. Because I told you when grandpops come, this is a celebration of life. That's it. It's fact and it's fact and being. You ain't selling the P-H-A-T. But anybody who said the P-A-T is, you know, higher than the master, was a damn fool. How do you know? Because you don't spell fact, P-H-A-T. How you gonna get a sound phone? What the fuck wrong with you? And how in the world can you spell wrong W-R-O-N-G, you spell R-O-N-G, all day what? No. That's right what? Knowledge. No. And keep in mind, I told you all a long time ago, ain't it funny how some people can write a letter with two points on the bottom and call them a double two? Can't they see that's a double D? While other ones of you instinctively know that you have to round it at the bottom, and that that's the letter U seen in its double capacity. Ain't that what I said? Yes. And then I went one step further to tell you all that when you look in the mirror, don't that being look identical to you? Yes or no? Why can't you see that's the double U, right? What? There. You follow that? Yes. And I told you three different types of reincarnation, didn't I? Yeah. Name them. Name them. Significant, insignificant, and in school crystal. There you go. Now, have you ever heard people say, I got into this relationship 
Because that's my soulmate. And that is my significant what? Other. Other. And I came back and said there's no such thing as a significant other unless you are significant reincarnate. And your significant other would be the image of you that you look at in the mirror every day. You follow that? Mm. Yes, sir. That's the only significant other on the what? Planet. Because mm. mm -hmm. I told you every day you leave home, a double you leaves with you. The higher you and the lower you. The higher you knows exactly what it's here to do and will move relentlessly towards the fulfillment of that mission. While the lower you don't have the slightest clue. And this life is like a leaf blowing in the wind. Wherever it ends up, it has absolutely, I repeat, absolutely no control over it. Until one day, each of you will experience a divine thing called the sacred marriage of self. It's when the high, the lower you will finally agree to marry into the higher self. Because the lower you can only prove to do one thing well, which is to stand in the higher you's way. That's where your inner you becomes your own worst what? Mm -hmm. Enemy. Enemy. And will stop you from getting everything you need. And by virtue of this sacred marriage of self, that's when the lower you will finally agree to marry into the higher self and finally move out the higher you's what? Wait, wait, wait. Because it knows that the higher you has a destiny to fulfill. Meaning it must be in a designated place at a designated time doing a designated thing, correct? Mm, yes. Right. And then I said, aren't you in a designated place right now? Yes, sir. And aren't you doing a designated thing like this one? Minute? Yes, sir. And I then said, step one, the fulfillment of your what? Destiny. Destiny. And that is something that none of you can deny is being true. I know it, those words strike home inside of you. Or at least they should. Because all your life, you have been the type of being that in your very own family was very controversial. That would look towards you in certain ways for, for certain answers. That only you could deliver. And this was happening to each of you long before you came in contact with me. Am I lying? Mm -hmm. No. That's why you became the black sheep of the what? Family. The one who they would put out on the street. And say, nigga, you got to stand up on your own now. Right. And then you had to struggle to figure out how to get something to what? Eat. Now, in certain type of way, each of you done experience a little bit of that, I'm sure. Yes, sir. That's what qualifies you now to be one of the 144,000. Because you were made to eat shit. And it take a whole lot of shit that other motherfuckers didn't have to take and you say it fell down. How do I gotta go through all this? Shit, I used to be their favorite child. Mm -hmm. And now the same ones who I was would tell me I was their favorite child. And certain times and places will look at me like I don't even what exist. And will put you out their house while they give another motherfucker who's left in you everything that you know they should be giving you. 
Now tell me you ain't been through that. Mm. Uh. That's because you have a destiny to what? Fulfill. Fulfill. You can't fulfill anything other what? Hey. Wait. Now I know I might not be on the base, but I, damn it, I'm in the ballpark. Which is close job. enough. You feel me? Mm. Yes, sir. Okay. You hitting home run, so, Chief. Home run. And knocking it out of the park? Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. And we going out to chase the ball so we can bring it back and do it all over again. <laughs> Lord have mercy. That's why I love you. He, he could go all the way. Because let me say something to you. The way I love you. And the reason I love you. Because each one of you, before you even came to know me in this life, I had already given you a piece of my soul. And that's why you suffered for right to name what? Faith. Nobody who has called upon me at, you know, certain times and places who committed their very life, their death, their breath, and everything to me in this mission. Not one of them. Did the devil just pack up shop and go home on? Rabbana idnana norna Ije ta'ala kun sayo kabir This is from the 66th surah of Al-Qur'an which reads O sustainer please complete for us our life Now we will turn to the God. 